The Chargers signed Kyler Fackrell yesterday to be their depth signing rotational edge kind of guy, which was needed since it was really just in Wosu and Egbule at outside linebacker. Now, if you didn't know who this guy was, join the club. But, you know, like Abushi, I didn't know who he was. And then I watched the film and it turns out, hey, this is a signing. Now, granted, I think Abushi is going to start, whereas Fackrell is that rotational piece because he's always been that rotational piece. But hey, he'll have a role on this team, and that's great. Uh, apparently, he's logged a number of snaps on special teams. That's great, too. The Chargers obviously need help in that department. But I'm just going to focus today on defense. And then, as promised, I just wanted to bring up what I think his, cre- his key trait is, and that's his awareness. But I did want to start with... I'm not trying to knock him, but some of his sacks, I think actually all of his sacks from last season, were kind of like this, where it's solid effort, good motor but it's not like he's terrorizing these quarterbacks in you know under two and a half seconds and that's fine hey get your money however you can get it right if you can get a sack like that that's fine um a play is a play but it's not like he was terrorizing these quarterbacks instantly and creating as much on his own you know what i'm saying but the second play kind of hints at what i'm gonna i'm going to get into with his awareness um but also let's kind of see what i'm talking about again with him not really creating that sack initially, but still working hard and getting to the quarterback anyway. And it's just that awareness. As soon as Jared Goff comes out of the pocket, he's making that sack. So now let's get into the plays and this awareness that I'm talking about. And it's not just, it's, it, he has this knack for setting like the edge, if you will, on screens or on sweeps or on design quarterback runs. You know, not necessarily, not necessarily just against a running back in the run game. I mean, it's almost like he has his entire side of the field covered. And whatever you decide to do, he's going to take care of that. Um, no matter what, you know, what you have, uh, you'll, you'll see in a little bit, you'll see Cooper Cup take a handoff. You'll see some screens. I think you'll see a wide receiver screen. You'll see Trubisky run here. And whatever they throw at him, he seems to be ready for it. I don't know if that's instincts, if that's just film study, whatever it is, it combines to create this great defensive awareness. And so, I, so that's what I think his greatest attribute is based on what I've seen so far. It's a great rep. I'm mostly just going to let these plays run. This one is another just awareness heads up kind of play. Uh, More awareness in the screen game. This is very uh, Melvin Ingram-esque. I know Jenner and Wosu started to pick this up last season. Right, if you can't get the quarterback, but also you recognize it's a screen, get your hand up, knock that ball down, right? This one, I believe, is the handoff to Cooper Cup. So whoever is either breaking down these, this film for him, or if he's breaking the film down, of course, whatever he's studying, whatever he's seeing, it's clearly working for him. I'll play another play. Holds him to a three-yard gain. And when you have that, there's not a lot of hesitation from him, right? I think that's key. He's always making these heads-up plays. That, you know, just that lack of hesitation lets him just make plays like this, which I think is, is wonderful for the Chargers to have as a rotational piece. And you know, when, you, when you're that comfortable at 6'5", 245 pounds and running a 4'7", 240, you're able to connect what you're seeing with your eyes to making plays with your body. And, you know, I haven't watched any of him on special teams, but if he's able to diagnose and make plays on defense like this, I can only imagine that he's also a really good piece on special teams. You know, very sure tackler, it seems like, a guy who always knows what his responsibility is, a guy who's not going to let Oh, who's the guy from the Patriots? I don't even know his name. That's how bad it was. <laughs> He's not going to let that guy run past him for a 50-yard touchdown, I'm hoping. Um, so that's that's really it for me. Just a quick overview, I know, but still worth, worth checking out nonetheless. So what do you guys think about this signing? Good? Bad? Are you still worried about the edge group? Comment below and let me know. And as always, bolt up.